Eek! Good morning to all in the wonderful land of MFI. So it's about 4.30 in the morning here. I am caught up on all my messages. I'm getting ready to get into the shower. <laughs> my doctor says you have to buy antibacterial soap and wash two times with it before coming. Maybe it just seem really stinky. I don't know if I've heard of that before. Is that what's typical? <laughs> Didn't you clean me while I'm there? Am I extra stinky? No, I'm assuming because my body wash probably has moisturizers in it. And he doesn't want that. Um, I just want to stop by, say hello. I'm so excited. I actually slept really well last night. Um, our babysitter for tomorrow, um, wasn't able to watch them at <laughs> last minute. So I ordered them an edibles fruit arrangement to thank them for watching the kids tomorrow. And I was going to have it delivered while they were watching them. And obviously when they couldn't watch them, I went and I canceled it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. And the lady there was like, oh, well, I know somebody that is a preschool teacher that would be more than happy to come and watch them. So she came over last night. She had a potluck at church. So she ended up getting here until after 10. She stayed till, gosh, I don't even know, 1130 talking. And she's very sweet. Um, I've never really left my kids. I don't know. I'm a freak. And now to leave them with somebody I don't really know. She's a very sweet. But like, oh, I can't believe I'm leaving them. Uh, but I, I, I asked them, I said, you guys can come or you guys can stay. And they're like, oh, we want to stay. So they're excited. I'm just a freak. <laughs> it's always something with me, huh? So yesterday I went out and I thought it was going to be easy. I'm like, oh, I always see cute little loungewear and, you know, things like that. I could not find a camisole with a built-in bra. For the life of me, I almost ended up with one at Motherhood that unsnapped, except for I was a little bit concerned with it has this lining of material on the side that the snap connects to. I thought that might irritate me. Um, it was interesting. It was so interesting, but I'm excited. I found a little outfit, well, way more expensive than I want it to be. I'm like, hey, go, go return it. Go return it after I wear it to the hospital. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm so bad. So, I'm gonna get in the shower and then we'll take little update vlogs for the day and then my hubby will post it when it's all said and done. Yay! I don't know why I'm telling you that because by the time you see this, it'll be with all the others. Yes, I am a ding dong. I realized that a long time ago, guys. So, I'm excited. Thank you for all the messages. Thank you for the mentions and vlogs. Thank you for everything the love, the support. I'm shocked. I am just shocked. I can't believe that my day is here. I, fingers crossed everything goes great. I have one of my great friends luck on here. So I, I couldn't imagine anything could go wrong. <laughs> Thank you for that sweet. Mwah! Yay! All right, shower time. Bye, kiss, kiss, Mwah! Hello, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Or would it be this way for you? 15 minutes <laughs> until we leave. Yay, how exciting. I am like, I feel like the biggest dork. I'm like all singing all these dorky songs. <laughs> it's so goofy. And here is my little outfit. Now, I'm, I'm assuming you guys wear your after outfit before too, right? Cause I'm like, do I wear an outfit and then bring something afterwards? And <laughs> It feels so fun to wear something all big. None of my clothes would even go over my new boobies. None of my clothes. I'm like, yeah, I think there's going to be plenty of room. I think there's going to be plenty of room. And then this is my little camisole I got. I had a really hard time finding something. So I think even it will have plenty, 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 plenty of room. So, yay! The babysitter should be here any minute. My daughter's already awake. My son stayed up very late last night. He seems to be the only one in the house that's really nervous over the surgery. It's really cute. He's like nervous enough for the entire house. <laughs> He's asked about every question in the book. 
He's like, what if this, what if that, what if? I'm like, Kaden, it's going to be okay. I'm like, mommy just gets to take a nap. I really just get to enjoy my time. <laughs> so, shh, no one tell him the other parts. He doesn't need to know. I'm excited. Yay, thank you so much. I don't know what else there is to go over. I'm sure there's a million things. I scrubbed a million times with my antibacterial soap. I don't know what you're allowed. I'm like, am I allowed to put hair product in? Because I was a ding dong and I left my packet at the doctor's office. So I don't have anything to refer back to on my do's and don'ts. <laughs> so I'm like, am I allowed to put hair product in? I'm sure I can't put deodorant on, right? I don't know. I'm going all natural. No hair product, no deodorant, nothing. So we're going to be one stinky beauty soon. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! How exciting. Well, we are on our way out. Mwah! See you at the hospital. Bye. Oh, wait. I was putting my bra on. And, you know, I... <laughs> I'm the one that, like, puts five bras on to look like I have boobs. And then I'm, like, putting them in. I'm, like... Oh, thank you, Zoe, for the booby shuffle. Putting those babies away. Last day for that. Woo! I can't wait until you guys get your procedure sent, too. Yay! We're going to have like the after party, the after booby shuffle party. <laughs> you are the cutest darn thing. I absolutely adore you. Bye, guys. Kiss, kiss. So, we are on our way. We're on our way. We're running late. <laughs> I was having a really hard time saying bye to the kids. The babysitter probably thinks I'm a neurotic freak. My kids are like, okay, mom, geez, go. Actually, Caden seemed a little, he was, he was hugging tight, huh? When Kaylee's like, all right, just leave, mom. I have a friend here to play with. <laughs> How exciting. So we're on our way. Um, if we are late, it should only be a few minutes. As long as we don't get lost, but I don't see how that could be possible. Um, my nurse called me yesterday and asked if she could do all my pre-op administration over the phone so that way I didn't have to fill out any of any paperwork that my doctor had given or do anything there. All I have to do is sign two forms. Um, and then the anesthesiologist called and my doctor's office called so everybody is ready to go and ah! I just can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's it's unreal. Oh no, GPS signal loss and traffic. That is not a good sign. <laughs> good thing we know where we're going. <laughs> it's not far. Yay! And we can take side roads too. So woo! Be back when we get to the hospital. I know I said that last time, but I was overly anxious. I missed you guys. I had to come back early. <laughs> Be back soon. Mwah! Hospital bound! Woohoo! We are here. We are here. Yay! Boobies are buzzed! He <laughs> just joking. I'm missing is my beautiful hairnet. Except you call them hairnet. <laughs> it's not exactly net. Like, there was a. Ow! So they said that doctors can make me take that off and for my before pictures. Now my booties are. Thank you. <laughs> so it's so funny. I was supposed to say deja vu here. Because when I was on the phone with the nurse yesterday, she kind of gave me a rundown of how everything's going to go. And so now it's like being here just exactly like how they said. And it's. It's so fun. It's just so fun. <laughs> it just feels like unreal. But right, like, gosh, this feels the biggest work. I'm all giddy and yay! <laughs> all right, well, the anesthesiologist is going to be in in a second now to introduce himself. And then the doctor will be here. He is then going to kick my hubby out of the room. And they said it's going to be just fast, fast, fast from there. 
It's going to seem like a whole lot of organized chaos. <laughs> I don't know. Organized chaos. Interesting. Well, we will be back as soon as possible. Another day. Bye. You got your new boobs. Are you excited? undergoing chemo and I'm still sick. <laughs> the pain, I mean it feels like there's like an elephant on your chest. It is very heavy but um, it's not bad. More of like a, I've got a lift as well so it's more of like a burning sensation. It's bizarre. Obviously everybody's different but I am what, about two hours post-op? Yeah, two, three hours post-op, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good right now. <laughs> Fingers crossed that it continues like this. I don't know about pain medication. I don't hair. like it. I'm going to try my best to work Get through the pain hair. and not make myself so sick. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> See you guys soon. All when I get home, I'll tell you guys the whole rundown on how everything went. I'll show you the top of my cleavage. That's really all you can see. But holy crap! You guys about touch my collarbone. They're so big and perky. I am so excited. Thank you so much, you guys. You guys are truly amazing. Hey guys! Alright, so I'm home. Just relaxing. Not moving very much. Every time I move, I get really, really nauseous. So I'm just trying to not get seasick. Not board the boat. Stay inland. <laughs> so we're watching Ramona and Beezus. Now it's a kid's movie, but I will tell you, it's got to be one of my favorites. It is the cutest darn movie. Um, I don't know if you can really see much. Babe, are you able to, if you come up this way, can you see like the, how high they are? Yeah. They are, they're, they're chin touching material right now. It's nice. You want to be like all blah, 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 in between, but yeah, obviously, you know, it just doesn't work like that. So I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, my pain medication just started wearing off a little bit, I think. Um, I just took another one. I'm hoping I don't throw up, but it's, I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, um, but I almost like, you can almost feel it under your muscle. Like you feel it like pushing. It's so bizarre, but I don't know. I don't know. I normally predict crazy things with my body. Huh? I'm always like, it feels like this. It feels like that. It's not like that. And I end up being right when mm -hmm. I don't know how I end up knowing that. <laughs> Um, I guess I'm just in tune with my water. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, so it was, it was nice. Um, we went there. You guys kind of saw the majority of it. They, um, as soon as Dr. Kincaid got into the surgery center, he walked in the door and he kicked my hubby out. And he took before pictures, a lot of them. And then he marked me up and, you know, I was thinking because I was getting the period will live that, um, you know, that they'd almost mark in certain, I mean, they pretty much, they take it and they mark out all the way around and they put like a big X and it's cool because they, he measures and he double measures and he's sitting there with his little white tape and like doing all these things and it took a little bit I was actually surprised and you know he was really it wasn't like oh this is what I do this is my routine it was like you know okay you know I'm gonna place them up really high right here you want your aerial is smaller right so I am gonna make them smaller this is what this mark means I mean he was so like it wasn't just let me sit here and mark you he explained why he was marking where he was marking um, they take it and they go underneath your crease 
and then they have a nurse pull up and then do where like the access is and like crazy stuff and I'm like why but you know he's he was great he was just great he was amazing so um, after they do that you pretty much just put your cap on and you follow them back into the surgery center. Well, this is my experience, not everybody's. And it's just a small little walk, and it was so fun. Um, you sit down, and they have this big bubble blanket that goes on top of you that's heated, and it's so comfy. And you put your leg, they put leg warmers on that massage you, or leg massagers, I guess. I don't know if they're warm. I can't remember. Um, and then um, they strap your arms down. That was weird, because I keep going to, like, touch my face or itch, and I'm like, oh. Uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in a straight jacket. Ah, I'm a crazy girl. No, I'm just like, <laughs> so, and then um, they give you, he was so funny because he's putting an IV in. And I'm like, aren't you putting an IV? Why are you giving me a local anesthetic to put an IV in? I mean, I don't, I'm like, I'm so spoiled here. I've never had an anesthetic to put an IV in. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. So and then he does that, and he's like, oh, this is going to make you feel a little tipsy, you know, like you had a couple drinks. So I'm like, oh, wait, that was after he got the IV in, sorry. So then he puts the IV in, and he gives me one stuff, and I don't know what that was for. And then he's like, okay, this stuff right here is going to um, impair your vision. You're going to start, you know, feeling a little bit weird. And they're talking to me, and it's so funny because I can hear what they're asking, and I'm answering them, but I feel like I'm all like, Durr. I'm like, do I make sense? Like, yeah, you make perfectly good sense. I'm like, okay, thank gosh. So when they're asking me questions, I'm like, you guys, I want to keep answering you, but I don't think I'm going to last much longer. They're like, well, that is the point. I'm like, this is really great stuff. How do I get this to come home with me? I never sleep at night. I feel more rested after these few hours than I have in like a month. It's great. So, and then all of a sudden you wake up and you're kind of like, mm, yay. Um, the lady kept warning me. She, I think she over talked it. She's like, I'm going to warn you. It is painful. You know, they're cutting into your muscle. They're doing this. They're doing that. She's like, you will feel almost like you're in a car crash. She's like, you're going to feel sore. She's like, it's going to feel so, like a lot of pressure as if like an elephant's almost stepping on your chest. And I feel the pressure I do. Um, it's not as bad as I thought, but I'm. I'm thinking it's probably going to be one of those after a few days. I notice a lot of what the ladies are like, oh, breeze. And then after a few days, they're like, ouch. Oh, my gosh. So um, then they called my hubby. I wanted my kids to come pick me up. I didn't want them to stay with the sitter. It was freaking me out having them there with a sitter that I just met last night. And so right when the doctor kicked my husband, I'm like, can you go with the kids, please? So he ran home and he hung out with them. This skirt's gonna keep trying to lay on me. My kitty's like, mommy! We still have Zoe, our puppy, locked in the kennel because she doesn't do well. Even I cut my arm or something stupid and she's like, mommy, you're hurt. So I know she's gonna be all over me. Um, hold on, Mackie. So um, what was I just talking about though? Because I just changed the subject in the middle of nothing. <laughs> Just about your surgery and everything, you got off topic. Yeah, I did get off topic, and I don't even remember where I am. That, I'm assuming, is from the pain medication. You're feeling good because of pain medication. Yeah, a few days it'll wear off, you'll feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. I have my appointment tomorrow, my post-op appointment at 1 o'clock. Um, that'll be the first time we'll remove the bandages. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So, all record a vlog here and there and put it up and you guys know I'm horrible at blogging. I'm the worst person ever. So I'll try to get better. No, I probably won't get better. I don't like it. <laughs> Whisker! But thank you girls. Thank you guys. Thank you to my friends. Thank you to those who donated to me that never pursued anything after that. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to Jeanette at MFI Support. She has been amazing through everything. She's on top of it. She's uh, They have their work cut out for them. I know it's frustrating that you guys, that it doesn't comply all the time, that there's complications, but 
It's always easier said than done. We can all tell somebody how their job needs to be done. I think they're magnificent. I think the site and how many girls have reached off speaks for itself. Don't be judgmental. Be supportive. You go, girls. I can't wait to see how your procedure goes. Um, as soon as I can get pictures, I don't care if they're all nasty and gross. I'll get them up for those who want to see them. Um, I'm just going to sit here and ramble because I'm all bleh. So I'll talk forever, but I won't bore you guys like that. I'll be back later. I know I'm going to have him stop recording and I'm going to go, Oh my gosh, I forgot to say this. It always happens. But oh well. Oh, and to others having their surgery, I hope a quick and pain, well not painless, but <laughs> as good of a recovery as possible, I guess, right? <laughs> so I'll be back soon, you guys. Thank you. Kiss, kiss. Bye. Is it going? Mm -hmm. I just can't believe it. I can't believe. Mm -hmm. I get this one. Oh. Hey, others uh, have their boobies. Were you guys like in shock? Does it seem unreal still? Does it seem like... Yeah. Like these are mine? I just want to play with them. Okay, I'm bad. Okay, there's one thing I wanted to tell you guys really quick. You know I'm a freak about my messages. And I hate knowing that there's messages in there that I haven't replied to yet. Please be patient with me. You know it means the world to me for your love and support. And I don't want to leave you waiting on me, I swear. But please be patient. I, I will return all messages as soon as I possibly, possibly, possibly can. I promise, I promise. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. I'm going to stop saying thank you. You guys are probably like, shut up already. Oh, and then we were talking too because we're pretty much situated in the house. We've got everything pretty much unpacked. And um, kind of getting back in the routine. Obviously, it'll probably take a little bit to fully established, but I want to start planning some fun things on here to help out some people. So, uh, keep your fingers crossed. I need some excitement back in my life, some spice. Oh wait, that's what boobies are for, huh? They're my ultimate spice. <laughs> Alright, I have issues. I'm leaving. And I'm all sticky. Where's all this sticky stuff coming from? I keep like finding it on random parts of my butt. You don't think they took advantage of me in there, right? <laughs> Sticky stuff. Yes. Just joking. It's been a while. Now my sexual frustrations are coming out. Jeez. You suck, babe. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I will be back later. Later, later, later. Oh, look. How sad. Alright. Well, okay, fine. Oh, bye, guys. Kiss, kiss. No more stalling.